hello. Today we're going to show you what the solar system looks like on bicycles. We've made and laid out a scale model of the solar system. We've started with the sun, 23 centimeters, and we're going to go through each of all of the eight planets, including the dwarf planet, Pluto. We've measured out the spaces and the size of the planets. And you can see that at the end of the video if you'd like to see the setup. But we'll show you just how much space is in space. all the way through all eight, maybe a dwarf planet as well. We're going to start with the sun. Here is the sun, 23 centimeters in our scale, a big purple sun. We're going to place it here and then ride our bike to 
our first planet, Mercury. But here's the sun. Okay. Okay. We've gone 10 meters from the sun, so now we are where Mercury would be. And Mercury is one millimeter. One tiny little millimeter is the size of Mercury. Just a pinhead. A tiny pinhead the size of Mercury. It's amazing how small Mercury is. Now, let's go on to Venus. So here we are now. We've traveled through space another eight meters from Mercury. And here we have Venus, a shiny little blue planet, only two millimeters wide in our scale model. There we are. And now we've gone another seven meters from Venus, and we're actually at our very own home, planet Earth, which truly is blue. Looks blue from the color of the water. Two millimeters is the size of our Earth. Our sun is that large purple ball, and our tiny little planet is only two millimeters wide. Now, we'll travel to Mars. And now, we're at Mars. We've gone 13 meters from the planet Earth, and we've arrived at the planet Mars. Again, only the size of a planet. Okay, we have gone 92 meters are, we show 0 0.09 kilometers, which is 92 meters. After two steps, we'll be at Jupiter. Okay, we've now ridden all the way from Mars to Jupiter. We've gone 92 meters. And here's Jupiter, only 2.4 centimeters. But this is a giant planet compared to Mars, which was only a pinhead, and the Earth, which was only a tiny little secret, the size of a peppercorn. And here's Jupiter, at two point five kilometers. We've ridden our bike 0.11 kilometers, but actually, Saturn is only 108 meters, so we have to walk back two meters. So here we are at Saturn. We've arrived. Jupiter is way, way back there. And Saturn is only two centimeters smaller than Jupiter, but still quite a large planet with massive rings around it. And here we have Saturn. And now as we get on our bike, we're going out into the deepest part of space. And spaces get massive. We have to go 240 meters on our bicycle next to get to you. Here we are. We've ridden 0.24 kilometers, 240 meters, all the way out in deep space with Uranus. Here we are now at Uranus. Uranus in our scale model is only the size of a penis, 9 millimeters, 240 meters from Saturn. Now we'll head out to Neptune. Neptune, 271 meters out in space, way far away from this purple sun. Let's go. So we've gone 0.27 kilometers, 270 meters, and now we've arrived at the spot where Neptune is, out in deep, deep space. So we've arrived in deep outer space, the outer reaches of the solar system. Technically, the last official planet, Neptune, smaller than Uranus by just a bit, at eight millimeters. We're going to go ahead and include in our scale of the solar system the dwarf planet, Pluto, 
not really considered a planet now by astronomers, but still a unit of measurement that gives you an idea of what the vastness of space is. Okay, we've gone 0.23 kilometers, 230 meters, to the very first dwarf planet of the solar system, Pluto. Okay, we've reached the end of the solar system as we know it. When I learned the solar system, Pluto was a planet, but now it's not. It's the first of the dwarf planets, and there's many, 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 many dwarf planets, and they're tiny, 0.5 millimeters. Tiny, tiny, tiny.